miss the skid steer till it's not here. We're just kind of cleaning up our landing first thing this morning. Dad and I have been bugging logs, getting logs up here to where I can load them with the truck. We grabbed a couple loads yesterday. Didn't do a whole lot of cutting yesterday. Primarily just hauled. Cut a few white oak. The few I cut were bad. of us so that was the last thing we needed which we've got pretty good chances lingering in the forecast again for Thursday Thursday night into Friday morning so I guess it's true what they say when it rains it pours I'm just taking the blade here and knocking this road down a little bit it's getting dry enough this this road's really starting to dry up pretty good now we should have a skid steer on the job side hopefully tomorrow if not Thursday and of course, once the skid steer's here and we're done with the logging on this side over here, we'll come right in and get all these roads shaped up, which is going to be an absolute chore in itself. There'll be a lot of work to get these roads how they need to be ready for seat prep. Dad's coming along in the Ranger there. These Rangers are an absolute lifesaver. I don't know how we logged without them. Just jobs like this, you can throw your saws, your gas, no on the back, drive to where you're cutting. Just uh, saves a lot of wear and tear on your body. And time, saves a lot of time. Dad's got this one on the ground. He's actually cut a couple right here where he parked the Ranger. I was busy making a road. Try to set this phone up to where it'll video without me having to hang on to it. As soon as he cuts that off there, we'll grab that one, pull it up here, get it out of the way. There's four or five of these big oak right here to cut that I've got marked. See there, the paint on my trees. There's the other one he's got down in front of the ranger there. I just pulled it down where he could get to it a little better than, uh, I think, that guy right there, that one on out there. So pretty good little bunch of them right here short body trees Dad's up there cutting. I've got a couple here. The fence is just right there. These things would reach the fence, so you guys know me that I, when we cut walnut, I don't want to use a hinge, but uh, getting them away from the fence, using the skitter, there's just a very, very, very little, little bit of wood holding back here on each side, on each one of these spurs. I've cut down on the spurs just a bit. That way it kind of helps. When you push it, you don't have a lot of tear in the wood. It's not a high dollar tree, but it's a good tree. So we're gonna try to lay it right back out here in this brush. We've got another one right there we'll have to do the same thing with. Uh, we got a pretty good white oak right there. You can see it's got some paint on it. Let's see if we can get her back over there. Just a little bit of a nudge here. Shouldn't take too much. I know the windows are dirty. You can't keep them clean. All right. Oh, there she goes. Simple. Had just a little bit in the front. I left a little bit too much hinge there in the front. Had a little bit of pull, but nothing too bad. 
a good way to bring those trees down if you're by yourself. And you're in a triple area like this next to a fence. See there again, yeah, everything's scratched up. Slick little log. Got a couple of walnut there I just took down off the fence. Dad's getting ready to bring down another post oak here. Now, some parts of the world, I know people don't have post oak, and some people are lucky. Post oak is a uh, white oak's ugly cousin. And there's times we cut some pretty good post oak, but it's nothing like white oak as far as the quality and the money. White oak brings good money, post oak does not. If, if you can get some decent sized clean trees, they don't do bad, but it's nothing like white oak. And majority of what we have here in Cedar County and my part of southwest Missouri is post oak timber. A lot of times it's just real ugly and scrubby timber. Doesn't amount to much. Usually uh, pallet and tie grade. Yeah, bring this guy down here real quick. We got one on the grapple just cut. You can see there what I mean by sand pockets. Right behind me, you're going along and you just, you fall. It just falls out. You can run all around this and be fine, but you'll hit a sand pocket and go down. We've got a really bad one on the log road here behind me. Bad enough, I don't think I can go back through there again empty, let alone with a drag. There she goes. Now that big root over there, that was Dad's holdwood to try to pull that tree around instead of laying it back across the log road here. It didn't look like that tree cut very good anyway. He's gonna have to cut off. Yeah, he's getting, see, he's getting ready to cut off two foot. It's got dope real bad in the mud of it. for gun stocks now it's just there <laughs> gun stock market's pretty dead we still sell a few of them but pretty dead I'm push her over Dad likes cutting big things like that. A lot of work. 
work into cutting them. He had that one cut to where when it fell, as you can see, a lot of the logs popped off of it. He cut into that stump a little bit. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.